I'm going to give you a list of things that I want you to do before you go and play golf. Now, you might not have time to do all of these, but if you do a couple of them, you're going to find that your round when you actually get onto the golf course is going to be a lot better. Let's head out onto the practice range. So the first thing to do if you are going to go and play golf is be prepared. Make sure that you've got all the correct things in your bag, whether it's balls, tees, water, your waterproofs, the correct clubs, the amount of times I've gone to a golf course and I've been hitting balls at, in the studio or hitting balls at the driving range and I took a few golf clubs and then left them in my boot. I can't count them on my hands, there's just too many. So as you go for your round of golf, whether it's the night before or a couple of hours before, whatever it would be, make sure you're prepared and just check off a little list, even if you've got a, a list in your phone that you've got and you think, right, well, I've just got to make sure I've got those five things. If I do that, I'm going to be there. Things like charging your range finder up or charging your GPS up. There's nothing worse than getting onto the, the first hole. You've hit a great drive down there. You pull it out, battery's dead. Make sure it's ready to go and you've got all the stuff. It takes away all the stress as you get out onto the golf course. The second thing would be warming up. If we have the opportunity to have a great range like we've got here down at Alzora, or if you've got even just a practice net at your, um, your golf club that you can make a few swings, you want to go and do that. The way I describe it to a lot of my students, you don't walk into the gym and go and try and bench press 300 kilograms as your first exercise. You might do five minutes on the treadmill just to loosen up. You might do a few stretches. So why would you come to the golf course, get a driver out on the first tee and try and swing it at 100 miles an hour? It's not good for you. You want to just get in, whether it's 10 balls, 15 balls, half an hour, like I said earlier, it depends totally on the amount of time that you have. But all we're trying to do is find a little bit of rhythm when we're out here. Don't come onto the range as well, trying to fix your golf swing. If you stand here thinking, well, I'm about to go out in 10 minutes. Oh, what I've got to do, I've got to remember that I'm taking it here and then there and getting really down into your technical work. You'll walk onto that first tee and you'll be thinking too much about your golf swing. When we get out onto the driving range, we are simply here just trying to find a little bit of rhythm. I think there's an old story about Ben Hogan only ever warmed up with a nine iron because he would just find his feeling with that. He would find the tempo of his golf swing and just hit shots. And whether he had a fade or a draw going, that's what he would work with. So out here, I've got my target down there. And all I'm now trying to do is find a little bit of a tempo as I loosen up, I'm not too fussed about where the ball's going. I'm just trying to get my muscles moving and feel like I'm actually having a nice little warm up. And there, I can now walk off onto the tee and actually be confident in what I'm about to do. One thing I would suggest as well, if you know the first tee shot that you're playing, whether it's a driver and it's a dog leg left to right, you might want to just rehearse that tee shot as well. So you want to hit a little fade, try and hit that shot with your driver. It might be a par three and you have figured out it's going to be a seven iron for the day. Hit that seven iron shot. Picture the hole that you're about to play and think about hitting the shot that you would do on the first tee. So my next bit of advice for you is all about the course you're about to play. I'm here, new course, never played it before, or I've played it once in fact, but I can't even remember the golf holes. I don't even remember that I played it. So the chances of me knowing what I'm about to face are quite limited. And what I would say is that if you've got five minutes, maybe have a look on your phone on the app that you use or use your range finder or whatever it may be, or even just go onto the website of the golf course that you're about to play and actually just check it out. What's that first hole like? Just scroll through the holes, see what you're about to face. There might be a lot of water on there. So you might just need to throw a few more balls in your bag. It might be that, you know, you're playing a Lynx course. You might want to change your hybrid into a two iron or something along those lines, but just familiarize yourself with the, um, the golf course that you're about to go and play. So when you do get out there, you're not shocked by anything. You're not put off by anything that approaches you. You know what the challenge is that you're about to face all by just having five minutes just to scan yourself on that website. The next thing I want you to do before you go out and play golf, and this is one that I think really changed my golf, when, especially when I was playing in competitions. 
I used to go to the golf course thinking, I have to shoot the best round I've ever shot. I've got to shoot seven under par. And everything that I did was always very score orientated. I've got to break par. I've got to be X under par. I never actually thought, well, why don't I go with just one swing thought or one thought about my strategy or one thought about enjoying myself. That'll take care of it. everything. If I'm enjoying myself, I'm gonna actually probably be playing pretty good golf. So before you go to the golf course, and I have done this now after watching a lot of YouTube tips as well, which I would imagine a lot of people are doing, we go and chop and change when we're out there. We think, well, the answer to all my problems might be the tip that I heard from Rick Shields. It might be the tip that I heard from me and my golf. And we go through a sequence of 18 holes where we change our swing thought every time and we're focused on the wrong things. Before you go out there, decide whether it's on your drive to the golf course, whether it's the night before, the one swing thought that I'm gonna have and my one aim for my round of golf and make it more about your mental state. Don't react to bad shots. Laugh at a bad shot. Try and enjoy it. Smile at every swing. Put full effort into every shot that we hit. If you do those five, if you do those things when you're out on the golf course, the results will come with it because if you are having fun, if you stick to that one swing thought, you'll have a clear mind, you'll know what you're meant to be doing instead of chopping and changing. And if you are score orientated and you get off to a bit of a bad start, all of a sudden you're panicking because you had an idea that you were gonna shoot level par, but you're three over after three, it's not gonna work out for you. Let the score take care of itself by you actually thinking a little bit more on the mental side as you go through it. So I'm gonna head off from a round of golf now and my fifth and final tip here is enjoy it. It's a hard game. It's very, very hard. When you get out there, you're probably gonna hit some bad shots. Accept them, but every good shot that you hit, put that up in the memory bank. Enjoy your game of golf. It's great to be out there. Guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson.